How's it going guys? I know I've not had a chance to make many videos lately, but I've been ill, so apologies for that. But I'm back, still on the cut, and I'm switching things up. So it feels like it's been a long time since I've done this, but here we are, I am outside the gym. I think this is the second time I've been to the gym in about 12 days. Because I've been ill, but... So this is my first official morning training while fasting for at least 16 hours. Stopped eating at 6 o'clock last night, and I don't even feel hungry. I feel... I've got a lot of energy as well. I've not had my pre-workout, I've had a black coffee this morning, that's about it. And a, probably about three quarters of a litre of water. Um, I've got some BCAAs in here to sip on while I'm training just to give my muscles something to stop them breaking down too much. Uh, today's back and biceps day. Uh, the way I'm training for the next month will be four days a week. So it's um, shoulders and calves, back and biceps, day off, um, quads and hamstrings, chest and triceps and then two days off. I will also be doing four days cardio a week, either hopefully in, in the morning and probably one at night, maybe two at night, depending on when I can get it in, but four days cardio. Let's see how it's done. Try and get some footage. As soon as I finish here, I'll have my pro protein shake and then a decent sized meal that will be breaking the fast then and that gives me probably about by the time I'm done here about seven hours to eat because I'll stop at six o'clock I don't have to but I like to stop at six um so yeah I'll catch you guys how's it going guys so here we are we're in the gym and this is day two of my new split and I've got to say I'm enjoying it it's good it's a good split not had any problems so far but Basically what it is, is including a hell of a lot of um, techniques to push yourself past failure. So drop sets, rest pauses, partial reps, um, slow negatives, just anything to push yourself past failure. And that's the style of training. So you keep the number of exercises you're doing to, to all you need. So I've got four exercises for back. I've got, so I'm starting off wide grip lat pull down. Four sets guys, every set you want to do a drop set or a rest pause or anything. I did drop sets on this one, so every set did a drop set, try to get 8 to 12 on the main set and then at least try to get 6 on the drop set. Followed by next moving on to barbell rows. Now on the barbell rows I kept the weight more or less the same and just pumped out 8 to 12 reps. Then I'd do the rest pauses. So Put the bar down, rest 10 seconds, try and get another 6 reps. Couldn't get 6 reps, put the bar down again, rest for 10 seconds and carry on like that until you reach the maximum amount of reps that you're aiming for. Next is close grip cable rows and really concentrating on get a squeeze in the back on this one. And again I incorporated rest pauses on this, rested 10 seconds and tried to get another 6 reps out if I could. I think I only managed 4 on this one. Well, I was totally exhausted, so it's okay. And next, I did hyper extensions on the hyper extension machine, but couldn't get footage for you guys. It was really, really busy, and it's not really appropriate for me to set up my camera when everybody else is about. It's, so couldn't get that for you guys. Now to biceps. Two exercises for biceps. Both of them were drop sets. So I did barbell curls, like you see here, and three sets and then moved on to dumbbell hammer curls again three sets both drop sets and that's basically the workout it shouldn't take you more than an hour and you just incorporate any of the push your pass failure techniques that you want to include and that's it guys i'll uh, catch you in the next clip how's it going guys <clears throat> how's it going guys so just finishing the gym it is now nearly half 10 in the morning working an hour just going to stop off and get some food Good gym session actually, considering I haven't eaten any food for like 16 hours. Well, actually 14 hours, it'll be 16 hours by the time I eat. Um, 15 hours. 
Yeah, I haven't eaten anything for 15 hours, sorry. Um, and by the time I get to now, it's coming up to 16 hours after the gym. So, anyway, I'm rambling. Yeah, quite good. It's not as much volume as I usually do. Well, it, it's not as many exercises as I usually do. It's just uh, four exercises for back and then two exercises for biceps, but every set you incorporate a drop set, rest pauses, partial reps, just to really burn burn out the uh, your muscle. And what you do get is you get a really good pump. I'm quite tight already, but it was good. I got, managed to get a little bit of footage for you, you which you would have probably seen. Idiot. But I'm going to stop off at Subway now and get something to eat. Probably a foot long wheat bread. Probably foot long chicken breast on wheat bread with um, lettuce, tomato, and cucumber, whatever salad I fancy really. And then later on, I've got with me, I've got some Quest bars. And I've got some. What else have I got? I've got some grilled chicken which are seasoned with uh, Chinese rub stuff that you can season your meats with, I got that from a local butchers and rice and some vegetables and then I've got some peanut butter as well and that'll be that should set me up more or less for the day it's going good guys so I'm going to get this, I'm going to get to work uh, got any questions on it just let me know basic principles fast for at least 16 hours train while fasted and after it first meal have a high calorie healthy ish choice and then eat the rest of your calories within six to eight hours depending on how long you fasted for and then start all over again 6 p.m. I will should stop um, stop eating I'll catch you in a bit guys